T-minus 30 seconds and counting. 28. ECS reduced for launch. Roger. 25. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go goes R. 15 seconds and counting. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff of NOAA's GOES R, America's most advanced weather eye in the sky, elevating environmental intelligence to new heights and saving lives. Looks good. Now flying the zero angle attack phase of flight. Body rights look good. Booster has throttled down as scheduled. Response looks good. Roll program is complete. Body rights controlling down the middle. Listening to the voice of Marty Malinowski. Mach 1. Standing by to pass Next through Max Q. This is the maximum aerodynamic pressure area. When mechanical stress on the rocket reaches its peak because of the Already rocket's velocity and resistance good. created by the atmosphere. NASA's Atlas V Booster has begun throwing back up for it and goes our spacecraft. We continue into flight. The uh, United Launch Alliance Atlas booster doing its job. One minute, 50 seconds into flight, yeah, the first two solid rocket boosters will be jettisoned, followed uh, about a second and a half later by boosters three and four. Coming up on SRB jettison, and we have the first pair and the second pair. Looks like a good separation. Now find Q Alpha Limited steering. And we have had our roll bias pointing. Start system securing. Vehicle's making good progress down the range. RD-180 continues to look good. Pump speeds, injector pressures. And booster has throttled back right on schedule. Engine response looks good. Two minutes, 25 seconds into flight. All systems continue to look very good at this point. Currently flying at an altitude of 48 miles, downrange distance 85 miles, current velocity 5,995 miles per hour. And we have fired the RCS pyro valve. Systems now pressurizing the flight level. Signatures look good. Three minutes into flight. About 30 seconds away from jettison of the payload fairing, which has protected NOAA's GOES R during its flight through the atmosphere. And we have begun throttling to 2.5 G's in preparation for payload fairing jettison. Booster engine signatures look good. And we have payload for in jettison. Looks like a good jettison. Three minutes, 42 seconds into flight. And we have throttled back up. Next, approaching our 4.6 G constant throttle. About. And we have begun to throttle. Boost phase cooldown is underway. About 30 seconds away from booster engine cutoff. Standing by for Boost booster engine down. cutoff. And we have Bico. Engine shutdown looks good. 
Standing by in about six seconds for the Centaur's second stage to separate from the booster. I have indication of AC set. Good separation. Box pre-start underway. GN2 purge firing is as well. And we have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. This uh, Centaur single RL-10C engine burn producing 22,900 pounds of thrust will burn for just under eight minutes. You need to see our RCS thermal conditioning firings. OSN, go ahead. Adjust security roadblocks for pad access control. Roger. Readiness pole for padding. RL-10 performance looks good. Chamber pressures, fuel injectors. I'm sorry, fuel Ready. venturi pressure. Ready. Box pump discharge, all within band. Ready. That was pneumatics. Ready. Centaur propulsion. Ready. Centaur pneumatics. Ready. OSN. Ready. Centaur PU is now in Ready. closed loop operation, except it is still requesting a slightly oxidizer rich condition. We do have indication of the booster stage performance at this point, uh, slightly above nominal. RCS line temperatures continue to warm towards bottle temperatures. R10 performance continues to look good. Pressures are stable. Sports bottle pressures look good. And our body rates continue to look good. Controlling down the middle. Current altitude 139 miles. Downrange distance 888 miles. Current velocity 14,209 miles per hour. Coming up on the format change. And we did have a slight dropout in data, but data has resumed. All signatures look good.